All right, there he is, our degenerate uh, NFL handicapper, uh, Mike Montante. A hey, Montante. Good morning. Uh, Good lead. morning, gentlemen. No, I'm you're not. I'm tied. I'm tied. You're tied. Wow. I know I'm in the cellar. I've gone full Ironhead this season so far. <laughs> After two weeks, I know I am bringing up the rear. So uh, I'll see if I can bounce back. I'll set it up once again. We pick. We pick five games now. We've gone to five yes. because. Montante didn't like four because he doesn't want to go two and two. That's uh, that's your logic. You want to Correct. be able to go three and two. Uh, or and, you're you know, doing your best me impression and you're like, an extra game will get me out of this hole. Yeah, that's well, true. I, I need I need all the games I can get. I, I'm I'm close to doing the, uh, the Costanza thing and just picking the team I think is going to lose <laughs> because uh, uh, it's just not working out for me so far. But we got to I don't know if it's a good one tonight. Uh, tonight we got the Giants at San Francisco. San Francisco is rolling. Uh, they look good. Giants, not so much. Barkley's out, but he's only out for a few weeks, if I'm uh, not mistaken. When he yeah. went down, when he was when he was hurt and banging his helmet on the sideline, it looked like another ACL. It looked like you know a Nick Chubb situation, but it isn't. He's back, but he's not back this week. Do I have that right? Yeah, they're saying two to three weeks, but ankle injuries with running backs like that or whatever, whatever. If you anything in your legs uh, as a running back seem to linger a little longer than two to three, I think two to three is optimistic, and this is just another reason why you don't pay running backs like that. So hurting I'm himself with uh, going forward. Horses I'm with get shot to death for less. Some people after Chubb is uh, leg went the way it's not supposed to go, kind of bent backwards. It was devastating. Some people said, "See, that's the reason the uh, running backs should get paid, get paid up front, get guaranteed money." Just the opposite. You don't pay these guys. You don't draft these guys at the top because there's. It's just such a brutal position to play, uh, and uh, they're never going to last. I mean, I always say this: the running. The running game matters, but running backs don't matter. These particular Correct. back, because they're not going to last. They're going to get hurt. The game is too brutal nowadays. And guys like Barkley and Chubb, stars, studs, who are making a lot of money any any and on, any, on any play, they could be gone for their career. And Chubb might be gone forever after that injury. But uh, without Barkley, the Giants are up against it. What is it, 10 points? Uh, yeah, 10 points right now. And just a re really quick recap so everyone where we're at here. Jerry, I, know, I get why you're not tr wanting to do the record. Um, last week, I was 2-3. and three. Craig was 3-2. and two. Flipped, you were 0-5. Oh so in the season, I'm 4-5. and five. <laughs> Craig's 4-5. and five, And you are 1-8. and eight. You are approaching uh, Craig territory here. So let's see if tonight can get you out of it. But yeah, tonight, we, San Francisco. We've already got over that. All right, we're repeating ourselves. Well, we got go, to go over the numbers. That's, we have to, yeah, we have have to go over get, the numbers. We have to get you know? specific. Jeez, you got it. I get why you don't. I get why you want to leave the little gray area, okay? But we have to go over the numbers here. San Fran minus 10. It's a big number. I can see it actually ticking up to maybe 11, uh, 11 and a half towards game time. The Giants are 24th against the run. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this. San Francisco has a lot of Antifa, a lot of looting. They also have a really good white running back. His name is Christian <laughs> McCaffrey. So that's going to be beneficial um, for the home team there. The Giants, they had the great comeback win, so you could play the, the momentum here, but Look at the numbers. The Giants are one and four against the spread the last five against San Francisco. San Fran are seven and zero oh against the spread the last seven games. Ooh. It's a big number. The number doesn't scare me. I'll lay San Fran minus ten, no problem. Yeah, as I I will too. I'm going oh. with the uh, with the Niners. Sorry guys, he's. Uh, I mean they they won at Arizona, correct? Yep, correct. And and then they went home, and now they're going out to San Francisco on a really short week. Yes. Um, doesn't bode well for the G men. I'm with you. I'm with the Niners. Yeah. So the old me would take the Giants just to be fun, but now I'm all about winning this thing and <laughs> in Montante's bald face. So I'm going to go yes. with the, the Niners as well. Yes. Excellent. Last week, and all three of us were simpatico, uh, 0 2. So uh, good news for Giant fans and uh, Giant backers there. Second game, we will go to Green Bay. I think everyone's surprised by this Jordan Love kid. Obviously, he had one play yeah. last week that went viral, very embarrassing, where he looked like he was hammered. Uh, walking up to the line of scrimmage. But he has six touchdowns on the year, no interceptions the kid can play. Um, David Carr, rem reminding everybody, he's not that bad. Pretty good. Um, Derek. Green Bay. Derek, yeah, David, David Carr. I, I, it wasn't that bad either. He's a victim of a bad old line. But, yeah, we'll talk about Derek Carr if we want to be accurate here. Um, Green Bay laying two at home, um, which is pretty much telling you they think this is close to a pick on a neutral field. Uh, Green Bay are 26 against the run. And right, so you should be worried about that. But there's no Kamara, there's no Jamal Williams. They're gonna be relying on 
Kendra Miller and Tony Jones Jr. So I'm not worried about that weakness there. Green Bay seven and three against the spread the last ten. Saints four five and one against the spread the last ten. Uh, don't overthink this. Take the home team. Take Green Bay. Take the cheese heads at minus two. Okay, I'll do that too. Unfortunately, I'm with you. How you doing, Green me? Bay at home? Jordan Love looks excellent. I think they knew what they were doing. They knew, you know, Rogers was about to blow out his Achilles, and uh, they knew Love could play. So I'm, uh, I'm with the Packers. This is, I believe, their home opener. Correct? So yes. Yeah. Um, Damn it. I'm going with the Packers. <laughs> no. So there's here's the problem. Here's where the last year of me is creeping in. Like, just take the Saints, be different. But I can't. I can't. Jordan Love's awesome. They're at home. I think it's going to be a 10-point game. So I'm going with the Green Bay Packers. All right. So this is our no no difference in opinion so far. Hopefully, I think we could dip here a little bit differently, difference of opinion. Jacksonville, this is a great game, Jerry. I know you saw me send this and you know, probably you know, cursing <laughs> me up and down, but too bad. Texans, <laughs> the Texans at the Jags. That's one of your that was you you got to pick four games, and that's one. Game of the week, I'd say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jacksonville, my uh, my Super Bowl, or uh, AFC winning Jacksonville Jaguars. Off to a little bit of a sluggish start. Uh, laying nine and a half at home versus a divisional foe, which is a pretty big number. Jacksonville, seven and two against the spread the last nine. Houston, five and two against the spread the last seven against Jacksonville. So the numbers are kind of even. I just think that Jacksonville is just loaded. Um, they're going to have to wake up eventually. I think this could be the spot at home. Uh, even if they start off sluggish, as long as they keep it close, um, they, if, if they get ahead, Houston won't be able to come back uh, and throw on them. I can see some turnovers. I, I'm going to lay the nine and a half. It's a big number, but I feel okay doing it. Jacksonville, a minus nine and a half at home. Oh, good. I'm uh, I'm not laying nine and a half. I'm going to take the Texans to lose but cover. So uh, we we uh, we differ on that one. There we go. So here, I, I have hated Trevor Lawrence for as long as we've done this. <laughs> But this is for a, a good chance for him to get back in my good graces. Do not let Houston in this. I'm going to go with Jacksonville because the Texans stink. They are the worst. So there's my logic right there. And the best not, you had in three not, years. If not, Trevor Lawrence is dead to me, and no matter what the spread is, I will never pick the Jaguars again. That's fine by me. I don't like you back in Jacksonville, so I'm a little you know uneasy about that. Uh, the next game is everyone wants to hear about New England, the winless Patriots. Uh, the ballless Patriots. They just they don't have the pizzazz to them. They're not scary anymore. Belichick looks like uh, he should be on the chopping block. They suck. Uh, heading to MetLife. I'll be there. Uh, I'll be nice and boozed up by 11 a.m. to so make sure I'll be cheating on cheering on the boys in green and white. I will, I want to see I want to see a Navy slash Army like offense uh, game plan here out of my Jets. I don't want to throw the ball. I don't. Only time I want to see the ball in the air is on a punt. I don't want to see us throw the ball, run the ball 17,000 times. We do that. You let the best defense in the in this division control the game. And if you look at the if you look at the number right here, 36 and a half is the over under. Anytime you have it under that low, the points mean something. Give me the two and a half at home. Jets went outright, but give me those two and a half crucial points in this matchup. All right. I think I've picked the Patriots twice so far this season and been uh, wrong Correct. both times. They're 0 yes. 2, but they are not playing that badly. Their quarterback yeah. has been excellent two weeks in. You can't say that about the Jets. And I don't know why this matters, but 0 uh, 3, Bill Belichick going 0 and 3 does not seem possible. They haven't gone 0 and 3 since the year 2000. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they go 0-3, by the way, it's over. You don't make the playoffs when you go 0-3. And, and it's going to get ugly around here. I just have a hard time believing they're going to start off 0-3. So I am taking the 2.5. Yeah, you're laying 2.5. The New York Jets are favored with No, Zach no, no, Wilson. they're not. They're not. They're underdogs. They're oh. underdogs at home, yeah. Okay, well, then I'm giving the 2.5. I'm yep. taking the Patriots, and I'll probably get this one wrong again. But uh, I can't look at Zach Wilson. I can't watch him play and say, yeah, I'm. he's my guy. I'm going with him. Patriots have a pretty good defense, too. I can't, you run, you can't run the good. ball. No team in the NFL can win by just running the ball. They can't run the ball right. 17,000 times and they win. Can. And well, the Patriots run defense is pretty solid, so that's not going to happen. Plus, Zach Wilson versus Bill Belichick has notoriously stunk. Uh, Zach Wilson sees ghosts started against the Patriots. This number is insulting. It should be six and a half. So I'm going to go with the Patriots. Good. All right. Feel good. I feel good about that. This is the, the second ever Jerry game of the week. Uh, slightly better than the Houston at Jacksonville. I'll give you that. <laughs> um, Denver at Miami. Uh, America's sweetheart right now. Minus six and a half. 
I don't have two minutes numbers here because maybe I was told 15 seconds per recording. So I'm going to let Jerry kick off his logic and see where he ends. Craig, well, my logic, and I'll finish it. My logic is I've watched the Dolphins and they look great. Um, Tua looks very comfortable. His coach knows how to draw up a play, man. They know what they're doing. He has good weapons, great weapons all around him. I was very impressed uh, Sunday night when he picked apart the Patriots. And the week before, he threw for like 9,000 yards. He's the MVP. Two weeks in in the NFL, Tua is your MVP. So I like them at home. Is This this is their home opener too, I believe, correct? Yes, should be. And and, uh, and Denver stinks. So I'm giving them six and a half and taking the uh, Dolphins. Well, I think a touchdown is way too much points for them. And Russell Wilson has actually kind of looked like his old self so far this year. That that Hail Mary at the end of the game last week, his arm's still strong. Uh, I'm going to go with them just because the touchdown seems crazy. And I think two is going to break his head in this game. So break. Craig is kind of coming around to, to, to reading lines here. I actually don't think – I think six and a half is too few, so I don't get that logic. But I think it's – they're putting the cheese out there. That's – that line should be eight and a half, nine going across country to play, you know, right now, top four team in the NFL. Mm-hmm. It seems too good to be true, Jerry. I think you're taking uh, taking the bait there. Craig's logic made no sense. If you want Craig, edit yourself out. That was the worst logic we've ever heard. Oh, touchdown. Uh-huh. He's been playing great this whole year. He's going to break his – usually no says. sense. He's, He's going to He's gonna be hopped up on Danger Witches. He's going to kill the fish down in Miami. He that was they a might, terrible they might, logic. They might win outright. Well, yeah, if they're getting six and a half. You think they have a chance of winning out, right? I'll take Denver six and a half, six and, a half. and uh, something's got to give here. Good, excellent. Well, uh, so will you will will you be uh, live tweeting at the Jets game when you get all lubed up and? Yes, and you'll you'll tell tweet by tweet how uh, how much you know progressively drunker I get. My favorite crowd shots are Jets game crowd shots when they're losing or when yeah, the yeah. quarterback is you know seeing ghosts or throwing the, to the wrong team and they start showing Jets fans all drunk. Do you yeah. wear do you wear a uh, jersey a Jets jersey? Yes. What? Let me guess. Let's guess. What jersey um, does uh, Aaron Rodgers? No. Ty Law. No. I, I like wearing I'm either going to break out the uh, Wayne Corbett, Keyshawn Johnson, or my favorite because it's so stupid, uh, my Tim Tebow. I think I might go with the Tebow. <laughs> you have a Tim Tebow Jets jersey? Yes. Yes. Wow. How many Wayne jerseys Kirby. do you have? We talked about this the other day. I, oh, yeah. You're going to mock me for this. I own probably 130 jerseys. What? And they're like 150 bucks each? No, I get them from... China. It's uh, nice and cheap. <laughs> you got from China. Yeah. So you'll be wearing uh, Wayne Crebet on Sunday. We'll look yes. for you in the crowd. If the camera yeah. does on you, just do us a favor and flip it off. Flip, give them, no. flip, you'll go viral. Just give the bird to the yeah. to the camera. No, no yes. one has murdered the Patriots more than Wayne Crebet in the history of time. So oh, I'd probably encourage you to wear. He is not. Wayne Crebet has murdered the Patriots. Yeah. He's always that, a little. This weasel. is this is your. He's always, a, he's always a little weasel. A little weasel. I don't like him. Uh, well. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you, guys. Monday. Appreciate Thanks, it. I'll Montante. see you guys next week. We will talk to you next week. That is our guy, Montante, who's pretty good at this, I have to admit. He's pretty good at uh, uh, picking games. Maybe that's how we can afford 150 jerseys. What a loser. A grown <laughs> man with 150 jerseys? <laughs> Quite a lot, yeah. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's yeah. sick. That's, that's like an illness, man. That's he can't stop man. buying them from China. I have one, as I pointed out the other day, Ironhead has, how many did you say you had? I think I have, so I have a Nathan Horton signed uh, Bruins jersey and a Ray Bork just jersey. That's it. And and you wear them? Um, the Ray Bork one once in a while, if I'm feeling saucy, but that's it. When you look in the mirror, don't you feel like kind of a loser? You're a grown I man do. with kids. I do. You're yeah. an adult with children. Uh, yeah, the last, but... time, the last time I wore it is when they lost to the Blues in Game 7, so I haven't really worn it since. Excellent. Well, uh, we'll, we will uh, wrap this up. Um, thanks to everybody for listening. Uh, I wonder if anyone's picking along with us, you know, like picking the opposite of why I pick like they did with you last year. If they have, they're making some money. But, we'll find uh, out how you I'm, do this week and then that'll determine. I, I think tonight you're going to see a blowout. You're going to see the Giants just out of gas. They had a very dramatic win last week. They got to go across the country. I don't think Thursday night game is a really good one, but I'll be watching because uh, it's the NFL. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks to everybody for uh, listening and for commenting. Thank you, Ironhead. I'm Jerry Callahan. This is the Callahan Show, and we will do it again tomorrow. God save the queen, man.